Hey, what's up guys? Raw Assassin is back here with another Throne and Liberty video. Uh, more patch notes, you know, this time for April 24th, uh, Wednesday. Uh, looks like a big list of patch notes, so you know, let's just go over real quick. Uh, I have not read it yet, so I'm doing it first time with y'all. And starts with a new two-star dungeon, uh, Scream and Torture Chamber. That actually was the dungeon, the first dungeon they teased before they even added two-star dungeon in the games. In the game, uh, the boss is looking sick. If you, as you can see, I think he got a dagger weapon. However, I don't see no weapon in the drop list besides the blue sword. Uh, but that's cool, you know. I think these blue items should not be dropping from two-star dungeons at all, because I already repeat, repeating myself. You know, you need all purple nine to be farming these. So why are they dropping blues? I do not get it. I would understand if they were dropping tier one epic instead of the blues and a few tier two, but you know, developers have their own vision on the game, so we'll see how that plays out in the long run. Um, yeah, the guild conquest, the battles basically for the boonstones, you know, they've been changed. It looks like they just saying the same thing, but in more details with all the screenshots. I already talked about it, you know. You can click on my previous video and. I'll, uh, you can find all the explanation there, but pretty much, you know, just to summarize, only up to three guilds at the time will be able to fight uh, for the stone, you know, that's if stone is occupied. If stone is not occupied, only two guilds will be able to fight it, and yeah, it has like to do some with the rankings too, you know. Basically, you can sign up for three stones at a time. It will pick uh, guilds based on the ranks and stuff like that, you know. So only two, only up to three guilds will be able to fight per stone. This will eliminate a lot of Zerg PvP on this specific activity, you know. The sieges are all, all still going to be all about Zerg and stuff, but this type of content, it will be strictly clan versus clan and maybe versus another clan, like three-sided PvP, right? So up to 50 people per side is going to be uh, very fun. I think way better than seeing... 500 versus 700 or whatever because here is going to be uh, a, a lot more room just for the skill played and tactics you know so we'll see how that plays out i'm not again i'm not going to go over it in the detail if you want to check uh, the explanation just go on my previous video you know and you can listen to me talk about it okay so let's continue a new potion has been added to the game uh, the potion removes stun Restrain, sleep, silence. So basically, the CC remover potion with two minute cooldown. Uh, as I can see, it shares cooldown with the attack defense elixir. I mean, that's pretty cool, you know. Uh, it will just provide you, I guess, more survival survivability in PvP. Uh, give you gives you more chances, you know, to survive the melee combos or whatever. When you stun, you knock you down, and you're dead pretty much. Interesting, you know, two minute cooldown. That's a long enough cooldown, but you know, like it could be like in in a small PvP, like one v one and shit. This could be very crucial. It could be a game changer for sure. Um, field dungeon rewards. Oh, okay. Also, my bad. They also say this is what you gotta use to crap them. Okay, that's cool. Uh, they added some of the resources. As you can see, like this, three types to the dungeons of level f uh, mobs in the open world dungeons of level 15 higher. So you can get these resources to craft the elixirs too, because as they say, I guess certain resources were not dropping enough, and you need them for almost every potion to craft. Uh, the playing experience of some content has been adjusted. The teleportation stone has been placed on Lizard Island. That's pretty cool because, you know, every time they fix uh, the path that people find out, uh, you know, you got to find a new way. I guess people just don't want to ride the giant, you know, whale and stuff to get on the island because it takes forever. So they were finding ways to cheat to get on the island, you know, and they were successful. Developers keep fixing the ways to get in. People just find new ones. So I guess that's why they finally just put a teleportation stone. Uh, the automatic selection rules have been changed when entering Cobra of Dungeon menu. Okay. During the field boss appearance schedule, more peace field bosses have been changed to always appear at 13, 16, 22 time. Okay. So basically more peaceful bosses, world bosses, whenever they spawn. I guess that's, you know, that's cool. Whatever. 
uh, teleportation stone was placed to open the lizard island teleportation seat you must board and move on the gigan right so i guess uh you still gotta go on the whale and you will see a teleportation stone on there okay a latch connecting to the inside of dungeon has been placed at lizard island dock to allow entry at all times okay cool the only time you cannot use the teleportation stone is at night well it's just you know it's just a easier way i guess to get on uh, lizard island now without finding a bug to jump it uh field dungeon the height of the passage connecting uh -huh. okay so they just lowered some textures and the silliest okay this is minor fixes i'm not even gonna go like you know detail because like people who never played the game or just waited on an a release you don't really need to know that at all they'll probably uh release the game with it, it being fixed already anyway uh, yeah see they did like minor changes like when you open the dungeon menu the default selection default selection will be normal instead of challenge mode you know and the, yeah so it's, it's going to be basically saved based on your last selection yeah it's just a little i think little uh minor patch patches you know that don't even deserve the attention especially like if you're not playing on korea like you know serious and stuff like that the jewelry item that can be obtained from dimension circles below level 50 has been removed i wonder what jewelry item they've been talking about a crafting formula has been added so the crafted jewelry can replace jewelry the main material okay this is translation from korean to english i'm not sure i'm not sure the recipe for arc boss weapon extract has been removed okay so they remove that and now introduce a new se okay um, so i guess they change in uh they change in they change in the way you're gonna level arc boss weapons i guess that's what it is we'll see yeah all these small small changes do mean nothing okay so they uh they added the lock on function if you play in an action mode that, that's actually that's what matters they can lock on the target now if you play in the action mode that's pretty cool um uh, okay equipment hmm. okay so when i was playing on cbt i actually missed those patch notes they made so so every weapon you know all the dungeon weapons and certain purple weapons and certain blue weapons they have like their own uh weapon skill right before the way it worked uh the the only skill that would be active is uh the skill of a weapon that you would have equipped in your main hand right your main attacking weapon like they use for auto attack then they changed it so both weapons are active i mean both skills of both weapons are active regardless of what you have in the main hand but now i guess they changed it for certain weapons these five weapons you know uh because the skills were stacking with other skills and it was too op so now um out of these five weapons these skills only work when you have these weapons in your main hand and also if uh, change the effect on silent stalker on the dagger so you can see they nerfed it yeah so that's what they did they also changed some skills you can see it uh fixing mm -hmm. the display information on the map and minimap okay so now when you click on the character you can see on on the business card you can see the set of weapons they're using it's just minor you see like this for example you click on the character you can see okay great sword and bow uh by the way very stupid combination <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Maybe somebody does good with it, but I think it's stupid. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just very, very minor fixes. Yeah, very, very minor. This is not really nothing. Gamepad, okay. Quick turnaround on the gamepad. Photo mode added. Okay. Yeah, that's that's very minor. Okay, fixes. Uh, okay this is the fix in the two-star dungeon yep it's all two-star dungeon fixes two-star dungeon two-star dungeon uh 
fix the issue where gliding would occasionally fail. So, okay, there's some minor fixes, guys. It's all minor fixes. You can read them. Nothing, nothing game changing, I guess. Yeah, all all minor fixes like this. Fix an issue where the profile photo of a matching party member was not visible. It's like, so all whatever. All super minor. T yeah, they changed f morphs tigers to Tion, Tion. I don't know why. I can't use tiger anymore. Uh, This is interesting. Fixed an issue where growth points were applied beyond the maximum enhancement value when transform equipment. Yeah, okay. Please note that the maximum enhancement value itself is not exceeded, so it doesn't affect the equipment ability or stats. That's why I was thinking too, like it didn't level it up anyway, so who cares? Uh Oh, nice. Solent used by customers whose growth point have been exceeded will be separately restored by a male. Oh, that's very cool. Some of us uh, expect some male with some Solent. That's very cool. Uh, UI modifications again. Uh, gamepad modifications. Big oh, guys, a big patch, but really all minor fixes. Well, besides the the guild content wars, you know, and uh, the new two star dungeons, I guess. And the lock on feature on the action. Yeah, nothing nothing really big, you know. And the new event. Looks like another event with catch up mechanics. Yep. Oh two rewards. X two rewards from the dungeons. Two chests are uh, gonna spawn. Very nice. Two chests spawn from the world boss. Uh you get in two chests. I mean twice XP and Solent from open world dungeon. Oh very good. Yeah, everything is X two. That's very cool. Basically you get in a lot of rewards, guys. Even activity uh, score in the in the guild is also X2. Very good. Very 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 good. Um, what is this? You can collect crafting materials to create. Ma oh, interesting. Oh, you can craft the box. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, guys. So basically, a lot of a lot of catch up mechanics and new events. Uh, yeah, you can change soul stone, two soul stones from one dungeon to another to a one soul stone from another dungeon during this event as well. Yeah, a lot of catch up mechanics, pretty much. Uh, daily login rewards. You can see. Oh, nice. You can get some purple weapons now for free, basically. See, super resistance crossbow level 3. I wonder if they have traits on them, but yeah. See, some armor, some purple armor you can get as well. Three pieces. Very nice. Yeah, you know, a lot of people believe in Korea, and uh, a lot of people come in fresh, I guess, you know, from especially after closed beta and stuff to be tested. So they, a lot of catch-up mechanics, guys. Nothing really, you know, changed to the games, just a lot of, yeah, a lot of catch-up mechanics, the change in the Boonstone that I talked about last week and all that. You know, my guys, honestly, like, I'm getting pretty tired of playing on Korea, knowing that NA releases pretty soon, so uh, I already, like, you know, have a generic equipment like Purple, all 9 and 8. I have a few purple nine weapons nothing tier two like all tier one but me like just knowing i'm going to play on na you know like my my game on korea is becoming very boring uh we have a lot of new guild mates you know that don't have equipment to farm tier two dungeons and very few old players uh who have stuff to do you know uh, all those things but like I don't know, everybody just started kind of new characters, leveling new stuff, testing, you know. I'm at that point where I know what I want to play. Uh, the CBT proved it, you know, and I don't know. I just, I'm excited to play on NA. Like, I'll log in on Korea still, you know. I check the patch notes. 
but I ain't gonna lie, like I haven't been playing heavy on Korea at all. I'm just all excited for an A release and I'm just maintaining, you know, kind of maintaining over here just to keep that flame going. But yeah, guys, I'm excited for an A. I know it's not gonna come out in May, don't wait for that. Uh, my predictions would be July, August, September, <laughs> one of those three months. So stay patient, you know, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a new video or like a little stream, you know, I still stream at least once a week. So yeah, let's just keep the, you know, keep pac keep your patience uh, and all that. That's all I can say, but I'll see you soon, guys. Peace.